All right. Okay, hello. What's the deal with scans? Let's get into it. ACAS versus SCAP. You probably hear people talking about scanning. We need to get those scans. When will those scans be done? Are we complying with our scanning requirement? What have you? You'll hear it mentioned. And there's different types of scans, but the two prominent ones you'll hear about and you'll deal with as an ISSO are ACAS and SCAP. Now, there's different names for them, but those are some of the common ones. Um, people often mix the two, an ACAS scan versus a SCAP scan, especially people that don't work in IA, Information Assurance or Cybersecurity. Uh, they, they mix the two, and they don't know what the, the objective is of each is. So what's the difference? Let's talk about it. ACAS, NESS's Security Center, and many other names. Okay. These are the names of some of the tools that folks use, and they're all doing the same thing, which is they're scanning for vulnerabilities. In particular, we're talking about software vulnerabilities, meaning it's looking for f uh, flaws in the software that requires patches. So if you have Google and you're on version 1.1, .1, and that one has a known vulnerability, when you do the ACAS scan, it'll... Uh, tell you, hey, listen, you're on 1.1, there's a vulnerability and you need to be on 1.2. And that will tell you the level of criticality of that particular vulnerability and that you need to patch it. All right. Uh, so that's what the ACAS or whatever you want to call it, Nessus Security Center, vulnerability scanning, that is what that's for. Okay, SCAP, Secure Content Automation Protocol. Make sense? No, it doesn't. So let's explain a little further. SCAP is scanning for vulnerabilities, but a different kind of vulnerability. It's scanning for configuration vulnerabilities, all right? And that's for the op operating system in particular, but also for software. Some software can't be configured. Some can. And in that case, it will be uh, stigged, right? And the result of this scan, of a SCAP scan, will tell you what needs to be stigged. So, well, what the heck is a stig? Well, if you don't know... A STIG is a Secure Technical Implementation Guide. STIGs are a set of configuration standards developed by DISA, okay, for DOD, IT systems, and networks. In other words, spilled, that's a little typo, don't worry about that. In other words, it's the way operating systems and software and hardware should be configured. So when you do a SCAP scan, it will tell you what needs to be stigged. Okay, and it also tell you the level of criticality, right? And this is uh, we can get into that in further detail in a different different video. Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Okay, so in summary, ACAS. When you hear people talking about ACAS or Nessus or anything that's a vulnerability scanner, it's looking for software vulnerabilities that need to be patched, need to be updated. Okay, that means you're gonna have to go get some newer versions of the software, and you're gonna have to or some patches for the software, and you're gonna have to patch it. SCAP scanning. It's for finding configuration vulnerabilities, meaning you're going to have to go into the, the settings of that Windows or that Linux system, and you're going to have to change uh, whatever the STIG tells you that you need to change. All right? For detailed steps, templates, and more, visit isocamp.com. All right? Thanks for watching. Comment below if you have any questions or is there anything else you'd like me to cover. Thanks.